on uh, Vince putting Mr. T in there as a wrestler? Did you think that? I mean, obviously we heard what happened with him and Piper and uh, protecting the business. Who cares? Uh, Mr. T was a draw. Mr. T was red hot. Uh, he did the business a great favor, and I'm sure he was well rewarded for it financially. And as far as as a person, I love Mr. T. He is a gentleman. He, When I brought my son in Minneapolis, who was a little boy, to meet him, I couldn't ask for a... And my, my son at that time, the A-team, my son was a little boy. Mr. T was so nice to my son that he there will always be a loving place in my heart for him because... I'll tell you what he did. He had to go to the ring, and he had one of them bend things he'd work out with. Right. When he had to go, he took that, and he handed it to my son. He said, you keep this for me till I get back. That's awesome. I, I love Mr. T. I, I say that today. I love the guy. He's a, he's a, he, he, he was a gentleman to me, and like I said, he couldn't have been more of a wonderful person to my son, who I might add today is six foot seven and 32 years old. I've talked to him on the phone a couple have times. Have you? So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You came back for a match, I believe, with Barry O at MSG. How did that happen? I don't know. Just I can't even remember. Greg Lyle show. Okay. Um, did you have a dispute with Vince over the video game, too? What happened with that? Uh, yeah, because I, I came up to Vince. I had a company propose, come up to me and want to do a whole video game. I mean, I told Vince I was going to do it, and he said I couldn't. That's what caused us to separate. Okay. That's what caused me to leave. Because I said, Vince, you, you don't own me. I said, I own the copyright of my own name. I can do with it what I want. And he said, if you do this, you're finished. I said, okay, I'm finished. And I left. You, you were talking a little bit about unionizing the business. Um, do you think it's legal to classify WWE wrestlers as contractors? No. I can't figure out how he gets away with the federal government. In fact, he's lucky I didn't become a U.S. senator. I would have started a senatorial investigation over it. Wow. They are not independent contractors by any stretch of the imagination. My God, they tell you when you'll wrestle. They tell you who you'll wrestle. You can't wrestle for anyone else. An independent contractor, I should be able to wrestle for any organization I want. You're, you're signed exclusively. Right. How the hell can they get away with that? That's, that's something wrestling has gotten away with that's been criminal. And, and why do you think nobody has been able to prove this in court at all? They could prove it. It's just that the government don't give a damn. That's all it is. Why? What does the government care about wrestling for? You know, if, if it if it had some effect on a congressman or a senator, you'd see it get exposed quick. But that's the biggest fraud going independent contractor. That's just so they don't have to pay no taxes, they don't have to pay Social Security, and they don't have to give you a damn bit of benefits.